it's gaming time. So dropping boards using one of the abilities to lock them down, and they go with the bad rider. Like Thinking about something in depth, and then realizing you're wasting your time. So yep. Very rewarding. That's our lives in a nutshell. Bryle's gonna be able to get this water rune here. You can see his CS 26 and six. Moon Meander rotating. Yep, LSA is there. Moon Meander with the shackle to come. Is it in range though? There it is finally, and Bryle with a couple more right clicks. Sox is coming to help out, but it's not going to be enough. First Blood goes the way of TSM. Bryle ticking slowly to this Scorched Earth from Soxa. Nice sheep from Moonmian, and that's going to save Bryle's life again. Getting himself an amazing start to this game. Like, if you, in terms of just the matchup alone, you're going to have to hold that thought. Dubu getting chased, the Echo Stomp to come. Nope, gets canceled by the Infernal Blade. And a couple more right clicks will do it. So now Saber Lightning Company just pushing these waves with that Firestorm. Bottom river though, Dubu, he's gonna take a lot of damage. Man, that Dragon Slave and Stocks that finishes them off. Uh, we'll do a quick thing. You're really good at this. Um, okay. Math. No. Oh, boy. Wait. You do a uh, Fate Bolt level three and Dragon Slave level three with 14% spell amp on that Rubik. Yeah. That's what happened right there. That's a lot. Saberlight. Good, a lot was the correct answer. Set up by Moon Meander. And Snake King will fall. Back to base with Literally your whole team if you want to get the fountain regen top lane oh, though. Skater. Yep. The Hex. Oh. Okay. Not even much else needed. Just that Laguna Blade from Bryle is enough. Just casually. But they weren't ready for a full-on engagement. Yep. Dubu. Like Dubu. Yep. Silent. So ends up canceling that Echo Stomp. They're not. Okay. He's actually blocked with these creeps. Oh my oh. god, Dubu. <laughs> this is the most painful looking potential death. Okay. The Ink Swell. Not quite in range with the creep. Snake King does get off the slow though, 33 with the lasso if he really wants to use it. Will instead get Echo Stomp and Shackled. Dubu still with six stacks of sticky napalm. 33, he's taking so much damage, he has to be careful here. Fiends here Gate. comes the Fiend's Gate as well, just one more right click if they can find it. in a Malice and the Firestorm, will he tick out? Oh it looks my like God. it will be the case. Huge turnaround for TSM, they get the... If they try to take this tier one tower in turn. Saberlight gets off the Firestorm. That. It looks like they're going to get the Doom off. 33 still with that lasso, remember. So this should be an easy kill. Probably won't even have to expend it, though. And that looks like it's going to be another kill going the way of Tundra. So 5-3. Timing so that 33 can be reliable. It is kind of difficult for them to engage fight. They will find Dubu, though. Yep, snaking with the Ink Skull. Already at half HP on that Elder Titan for Dubu. Might be ticked out here. Soulbind onto two. Soxa. Does have the Doom available, gets shackled. Either way, Dubu falls first, and now they're going to turn this onto Sox of the Gust, keeping him at bay. Attempting to run away, but Snake getting right clicked on the high ground by Bryle. And now Soxa gets hexed, trying to make it to his high ground. Won't happen, though. So one for two. In the most incredible spells you can steal on Rubik, the Firestorm. Does so much damage if they can combine it with any sort of stun, and there it is. Yeah, last of getting Saber Light is dead. Defensive of Shaman play or Gust. Um, which can be very annoying to play around. Up Saberlight, he's gonna show himself mid. Instant initiation from Tundra, who just waiting for somebody to show up. But Saberlight will fall. Openings. They might look for something now, though. Saberlight can obviously set up his, his own success. Oh, that was a very easy kill for 33. Yeah, Moon Meander, Snaking. he did buy Blink Dagger, though. Meanwhile, mid lane, the Doom initiation. And that is a dead Lena, no deny coming out. Soxa, looks like he might be the trade, but he has, or Tundra, Will be team fight impact by virtue of good positioning and playing around Elder Titan in this case very well. So, oh, oh my god, god. that Nine. fire storm! <laughs> Nine is absolutely owning. Moonmaner still wants to fight though. He gets off the Serpent Wars, the buyback onto Saberlight. He's coming back into the fray with his ultimate. 3v1, 4v1, he's taking so much damage. TSM have to try to counteract this, but Skeeter, look at the damage he's taking. Laguna Blade is there, he is left all alone. So it ends up working out for TSM. And Saberlight's somehow still alive. LSA connect oh, on the nine. That is the mid Rubik, can they get him? No. Looks like he's gonna get out just fine, but Saberlight ends up dropping, so that's a dieback for him. Gus keeping the Batrider at bay, Bryle missing the LSA. You can see the shard already online for Tomato with that hypothermia debuff. Looks like the rest of TSM. Careful. Uh, but we'll see what else he steals, because Aghanim Scepter, like you said, is going to be next. Saber but Light. 9 might be... Yeah, that is a mega dead Rubik. Not even needing the Elder Titan ult. LSA! Soxa will get out. The Hypothermia and the Serpent Wards. 
Looks like the second rush will be there. Snake King wants to try to snipe it. No. 33 goes in to the pit. It's going to be too late to get off double doom. anything else. But the double doom is applied to two. They're going to try to walk it off. Grimstroke getting extremely low. First to drop is Dubu. Moomiander next. And the rest of TSM, they have to be careful. Bryle has the Aegis. Don't want to expend it this early, though. Soxa looks like he's still going to live. Just on the outskirts of this fight, the buyback on to Dubu. As inside the pit, Bry will hide. The TSM, but it's on the wrong side. Kyle. Oh boy. It's like the Scorch Earth is pop socks with the instant initiation and the quick death. So Bryle takes the tumble. 50 seconds of Nolina. Moon Manor. He gets off his ult. It's barely in range of the tower, though. Minor opening is just an instant kill for Bat or Doom, as we've seen a couple of times now, and they're not slowing down. Here we go again. And Soxa again. The focus is on the Saberlight. They get off the lasso and he is just separated from his team. Another that much for Tomato in terms of his item progression. Just a BKB since Radiant's the Hurricane Pike earlier. Oh, Brile. Oh. Actually blinked across him there. Oh, he's, oh, he's going, going to turn nine. into a blade. Going to blade. You can see the Fiend's Gate coming in and that's going to be enough. Nine is dead. Good initiation from TSM this time. 33. Pops his BKB, so would think that he is going to be okay. Super clutch from Ryle. First, it will buy them some time. With Rubik on the sidelines for 40 seconds, you can push out the waves a little bit. Gain some ground and finish maybe a key item. Ryle almost has Lincoln, so that one's going to be up. Yep, Soxa chasing. Gets yep. off the Doom. Saberlight stuck inside his own Pit of Malice. Another Infernal Blade. And another easy kill for Tundra. It cost them the Doom, but... Three. Starting to go into the high ground now. Dubu. Top tower is under attack. He is going to pop Moomian with the instant Hex. That was blind. And Skeeter, he's in pretty good position, though. Soul by to two. Moomian is dead just like that. And now the lasso is going to be enough to take out Saberlight as well. So two more pickoffs for Tundra as Roshan's going to be up. So it should be theirs as they continue to chase Dubu. Flame break into that fade bolt. Three is. It's such an insane shard on this Grimstroke. It just gives you a, a free pass to do whatever the hell you want. And then when it goes up, okay, BKB popped by 33, initiation. That is going to be a dead drow. They even use, is that a doom on top of that? Not even needed, but either way, they find one. Fiend's Gate from Saberlight, pops the BKB, gets attached to Dubu now, but inside his own base. Still with buyback on Tomato, though. Where's but that gate going? Oh, bottom lane. Okay. Gracious. Oh, another initiation. The lasso is up again into the doom this time. So far away from his team. Ryle just forced to try to right click away. He's he actually like nine, kills though. Nine. He does a lot of damage, but he still ends up dying nonetheless. And That's see, a lot of mana drained from Skeeter because of this damage coming out, but Moon Meander falls outside of his own base, buys back into the game. Still 12 seconds for Tomato. Skeeter looks like he wants to use that Aegis. Will do so, but 33. He's stuck out of no man's land. So TSM able to defend. Yeah. Oh, he gets spotted by the sentry ward. Skeeter. Okay. Looking like he wants to be on the aggressive, but Soxa, he's the one to find Dubu to start things out. Tomato pops that BKB. And around the trees we go. Soxa trying to create as much space as possible. Soulbind again. Do they have anything to synergize this time? Nice pit of mouse into the firestorm as well, but it looks like that is the death of Tomato. And Saberlight getting slowed perpetually. Looks like he will drop again as well. So huge fight for Tundra, triple kill for Skeeter. Bryle, the sole remaining member of TSM. I'm sure that it works on the fourth target. I feel like this is an I don't like this. I know, I know. I feel like it might not work, actually. Moon Yander, looks works. like he's going to end up dropping. Soxa gets off that Doom. Oh, that's a big pickoff onto Lina. That is going to be a very nice kill for Tundra as he's just continuing his rampage. Soxa just everywhere. Saberlight. Looks like they're going to cancel the TP with another lasso. And the third death in this mini engagement should spell the end, I would think, for Tundra. Let's see if they can get to 50 before the game is over. Saber light. Yep, there's the lasso. Doesn't look like that Ag is going to make much of a difference. And that is going to be the quick death onto the Underlord. All right, we got the Soulbind onto two. Oh, Flame they break, broke it. them apart. Unfortunate, but doesn't really matter. The second death now is Skeeter just farming up the wards which were apparently stolen, and the GG's come out. So Tundra take game one. This was uh, some sort of a shellacking. Hey.
it was looking pretty good for TSM in the first 15, 20 minutes, but then spent all their bands on 33. <laughs> oh. There's a 33. There's a 33. There, there is another yeah. one. Necro. Cringed in damage. They cringe because of how loud he yells in pubs sometimes on people's Does screens. He, because he is dead silent in these pro... Like, anytime the cameras... He doesn't even give Sniper Light high five as Dubu. Speaking of which, we'll find the first... Oh, for the hero. It's Dubu. Wait, never mind. Dubu's He's blocked. actually stuck. Yeah. He's blocked he by is one just dead. <laughs> That melee... CS, yes, 9 versus Brile. 35 and 4 on the puck, 35 and 2 on Pango. So, actually a wash, which... I would say it's good news for Pango, if anything. I feel like he could struggle more than a lot. His socks the bot lane. We'll get off the shackle, but he's the one taking the brunt of the damage right now. A couple more right clicks will do. He pops the wand. Thing alive a little bit longer, but Dubu eventually finds such a good counter to the hero anyway, but just not enough damage from TSN this time around. Oh, they might find Brile, though. Uh, Brile, yeah. To get the hexes there. Shackle as well. First rolling thunder is going to prove to be enough as Soxa ends up netting himself a kill in that mid lane. Eater getting chased now by Saberlight under this tower. He's very little mana to work with. Gets off the Mystic Snake. It doesn't really do that much, though. And he's just right click down into. Puck can really set you up to be able to stay on your targets, or you can play the heroes together where one of them zone controls and the other one does the damage. Well, Skeeter is in trouble again. He Dubu. is. Gets a little bit of mana back, but nine has come to play. Moon Meander looks to be dead. As you can see, Saberlight continuing to chase, but Skeeter looks to be fine. Saberlight pops that ult, but he's going to get chased by the Rolling Thunder of nine. Of course, Saberlight with the vision advantage. Looks like he's gonna be really, a really fast for Skeeter, but they cover him. One lane, 33. He's level five against level yeah, seven. Brian has come, waning rift. A couple more right clicks, gets off the death pulse. He will survive, earn after. And now Soxa with that shackle onto Puck. Full duration, does get up the face at the last moment though. And they should be able to pick up Soxa. Coil is expended onto two. Can they actually get a kill though is the question. Snake King dies in the other lane as Brian oh, gets hacked into the shackle and the death pulse. A nice turnaround from Tundra as Tomato still cannot secure himself a kill. Reaper Scythe not quite enough to finish off Tomato, but the tower is Tundra. Be with that as sounds like a Reaper Scythe actually went off, but no kill to come. Sox that looks to be Mega Dead, but nine creating some space with that Rolling Thunder. We'll find Brile into the swashbuckle. It is enough, one for one, but core for support. Make it two times, so they have a similar advantage on mid with their Pango matchup. But it feels like Puck should be able to still find Moon some Moon Meander walks impact. right into Tundra's jungle. Gonna get full shackle, gets off the Infernal Blade. Dubu's here as well, has yet to pop the heal. And so now getting chased damage. by a Pinecone, and he will die to the Void. Nine, Swatch Buck with the safety, looks like he's good to go. But when, when do you want to see the Blink Dagger on him? Does it require the BKB and the shard before you go for something like that? Because like you said, the Crippling Fear is extremely strong this game. Well, they're going to dive right so we're going to wait on that. Yep, the Coil Expend only onto one Saber Light. He's going to get Hex, though, and Soxa gets off a Shackle. 33 in the area now as well. Has the Reaper Scythe available. Needs to find the range, though. But the Crippling Fear continually to silence him along with the Doom, but used in a very defensive manner. So position and two Saber supports Light for two supports. Looks like that is going to be enough as Saberlight sticking around a little bit longer and actually in the tree line will TP out to safety. So nice. He could go for that and still get out after. Had an escape plan flying over the trees right before the Dark Ascension ended. So Rolling Thunder mid. But Tomato is going to get caught for now. Skeeter trying to position himself. Very annoying cliff <laughs> area. He puts him onto the low ground here. Tomato shackled. Swashbuckle, no, he doesn't have enough mana for it. I don't know if they have enough damage to actually get a kill here, but Soxa with the ult, come out, beautifully done. Tomato bursts it down, and now Moon Meander, stuck in the wrong place, wrong time. Last right click from Skeeter, double kill for him. As 33 with the Ghost Route, slowing Dubu. They have no more. Looking for a potential kill onto Saberlight. Nine with the haste, he's gonna be spotted temporarily. And Dubu, he's gonna be the sacrifice. Well, he might okay. live. Centaur actually gets a nice stomp to cancel that channeling from Soxa. And here come the reinforcements. Tundra now on the run. Inkswell connects onto Brile. Got the Soulbind onto two to follow. As this might create enough space for most of Tundra to get out. Snake King, he will be left to his own devices. So they do find one. Soxa, okay, he is perpetually slowed here. Gets off the Shackle. Here comes the Swash as well. But Saberlight with the Crippling Fear. Looks like two support kills in favor of TSM. Moon Meander working on the Blink Dagger. So about 600 away. They might find Snake King again. There's a Crippling Fear Infernal Blade and the Coil onto the mid Pango. This is going to be a two quick kills for TSM and a Tier 1 Tower Ascendant from the last one, Cinderin. They're, they're John fearing Finn. and Brile, oh, instant it. hex though. The Centaur not in position to cancel this. The Reaper Scythe is there. Liquipedia, your pro player career lists you as position six as instant hex. 
Onto Tomato. Remember, he does have the oh. Aegis. Very little mana to work with, though. The Shackle onto the Doom, but that's going to be the sacrifice onto Soxa instead. So Thundra getting turned around on Doom applied right now. And that is going to be a dead Pango as well. So TSM seemingly everywhere. Oh, and the cancel the GP of Skeeter completely surrounded and brought down in skeletons. Oh, and a swashbuck. All right, they're dead. Oh. We're thinking nine. about this. Gets off his ult just in time as Saberlight with a BKB crippling fear. But looking to go on to 33, he will be saved. You can see the soul by now connected to two. Nice rolling thunder continuing on, but looks like Rasta is going to be the first to fall. And Tundra look to be on the retreat. You can see the coil only going to connect onto one here, but that's another support kill in favor of TSM. Moon Meander getting bursted down quite low. Saberlight with a nice crippling fear, keeping Duo at bay. The Pango attempting to get out, but nine taken out by the Illusory Orb. Bryle with the double kill as Skeeter looking to stand his ground. They'll finally get a kill in the form of Dubu. Looks like Saberlight died shortly before that as well. And the Aegis finally going to go down, but now you have to worry about a full Tomato HP. Bryle looks like he's going to try to get away. Tomato left all alone now, so this will be a nice turnaround from Tundra. And looks like they'll find that position one TA at this point. They, there is a trap showing for TSM, so at least they have some information. Saberlight has to pop the BKB. He breaks the smoke. Looks like Dubu's the original initiation here, but the Doom applied to 33. Is this enough indeed? The last right click from Tomato, as TSM were more than ready for this. And this could lead to another Roche. It looks like Saberlight will get a double kill for himself. So just like that, only two members of Tundra available. Definitely not an obvious new, uh, Necro game, this one, against both Doom and Enchantress. And the Shark coming out from TA, so the Silence is there. Trying to bait out 33's BKB. He's not going to fall for it, though. Saberlight already used the Crippling Fear. And looks like Dubu is who they want to go for. He gets four staffed. He's very tanky indeed. Another triple silence with that trap. Very annoying to deal with his Saberlight. Working on the back line. Coil is there as well. Onto a couple of heroes. They will find Soxa to start out this fight, but that Soulbind onto two. Skeeter just beating away at this Night Stalker. Is that it was technically a double Reaper Scythe, but that is just the Aegis. And the buyback now onto Saberlight. The disarm onto TA, so he can't fight quite yet. Moon Man are kind of stuck in a terrible spot right now, but the Crippling Fear blinking from Saberlight as he bought back into this game. Looks like they're going to delete Snaking on top of that. And now Skeeter getting silenced some more. Saberlight onto the high ground he goes, still with that ultimate activated. And another silence onto the Necrophos. Cannot do anything on this Necrophos, but he pops the BKB and dies shortly after. Tundra just dropping like flies now, as now the focus is on the nine. He is dead. Skeeter, the last remaining member. Will he stand his ground? Not a whole lot of HP to work with for TSM. And Skeeter attempting to get out. There's the blink in with the crippling fear, Skeeter. <laughs> this is a 1v4 situation. Tomato forced to pop that BKB. Finally draining enough mana from Skeeter, but Soxa has respawned. So TSM. He cannot go up here. He is yep, he's gonna fine with the, the idea. Smoke. Okay, Infernal Blade. That is a lot of damage. Saberlight on the back line, though, focusing on the supports with the BKB crippling fear. As you see the Doom applied to Skeeter. The Hurricane Pike is there as well. Not enough damage to take him out in turn, though. And now the Rolling Thunder from Nine, keeping Tomato in that high ground situation. But Nine just getting right clicked down by Bry on that double damage. As this crippling fear is doing absolutely Absolute work. Reaper Scythe is enough with the Death Seeker combination to take out Saberlight. He is dead for quite a while, but 33 dies shortly after. Now the chase on to Moon Meander. Looks like he gets that Glimmer Cape off, but Nine gets the vision. Wants to try to reset, but Bryle is here with the Waiting Rift, but instant Hex from Soxa and Skeeter with that ult. That is going to be enough. Bryle hits the deck. Dubu looks to be fine. A lot of back and forth. Slightly late to the party, but. I mean, he has a Ghost Scepter <laughs> on top of his... Uh, oh, okay. Saberlight jumping in. He is in Trying to keep it at bay, trouble. but yeah, it is now daytime, and he is quite worthless. The Reaper Scythe, not quite enough, but Saberlight ends up getting the cancel on the TP via 9, who goes in really deep. Shield Crash is enough, but he's going to be taken out very shortly after. So one for one, I think TSM actually take that. Sox is somehow able to get out. I believe that was a 33 Death Seeker to keep him alive. A Skeeter now. You can see that Witchblade doing some work against this Medusa, but still so farmed on him. As again, you Snake talked King's about this before. Snake King <laughs> is dead, doesn't get the D Ward. The tower is theirs, and this is going to be essentially a 20k net worth lead for TSM. This 
33 getting off a ward. He has to be careful, though, and he's just dead. He's just dead, plain and simple. That was the first Doom used. Yo, maybe he woke up now. Uh, He's maybe. like, whoa, what happened? Can we? Oh, Boomian is going to jump in, focusing on this Medusa. The Doom is there as well. And again, the Crippling Fear in the back line. But the Nullifier counteracting this Ghost Step. There's still not enough to take out Soxa, though. Nine gets off that Rolling Thunder. Shackle coming out from Soxa. A nice roll from Nine overall, but Soxa gets off the Shackle finally. But finally dies in the end. Moon Manor is going to be the trade, but so many buybacks to work with. And yeah, Peter ends up kicking out to the Doom. So that is a huge kill for TSM, but still buybacks to work with. Saberlight going deep. There's the buyback onto the Rasta, but the instant Reaper Scythe destroying Saberlight. But there's the buyback that they were looking for onto the Medusa. And see how much Tundra can get out of this buyback overall. It's looking like just Dubu. So I think TSM is actually okay with it. I mean, this is a slow-ass kill, I won't lie. Eventually, Maybe. Dubu will die. Only <laughs> strong. There's the Saberlight ult. Coming from the north and focusing onto Soxa again. And you can see the Doom already applied to the Medusa, who's kind of isolated right now. Very little mana to work with. And Skeeter is just getting bursted down. No buyback on the Medusa. TSM looking extremely strong. 33 barely gets Moon Meander, but dies shortly after as a double kill for Saberlight. And Pango left as the last remaining member of Tundra, but not for long. Double kill for Bryle, which is a mid rax and we expect more to come. Plenty of time here for TSM, and they're going to have Dark Ascension again because of the talent selection from Saberlight. Yeah, Bryle, Coil only on the one, but it is on that Pango, and the Nullifier to follow, so no shield crash for you. Down goes Pango, a dieback. And now 33 trying to limp back to the base, but he's going to die in all likelihood with that last Void from Saberlight. And that should do it as GG's come out. TSM extend the upper bracket finals to a third game. I love how they played the map in this game, just being super aggressive, identifying that Tundra's lineup. What did you say, Gyro? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> good call. I think it holds on every dire hero over the Radiant. It means you get, you know, you get that extra bit of regen that you need in lane, for example. Oh my god, Saberlight's actually yep. annihilated he has bottom. The Jingu ready as well. And this, oh, Saberlight. Oh, he actually jukes them up to the north, but still ticks out to third. Are there enough to not just be offset by water runes for the first four minutes uh, once the bombs oh. come out? Eater getting chased, though, at the top lane. They're focusing on snaking to start. Dubu pops. The health regen and snaking looks to be ticking out eventually, but will Skeeter do so as well? This is Has to really run a very awkward angle. Dubu. He's losing a wave and a half in the tower if he dies right now. And Tomato wants to come back with him, and Skeeter just has to pop that. Uh, he's just dead. He gets the courier on the way, but this is a death going the way of TSM. First blood. And the four banner runes, of course, is, oh my goodness, is Saberlight dead again? He is. So much damage over. Mars plus maybe a Monkey King rotation well timed with the arena could be a thing. Oh, Saber Light cannot die again. He gets off the Midnight Pulse. You see the TP is coming in. 33, extremely low. So Moon Manor might be able to pick him up, but Saber Light dies again. That's the third death for him. They will get the trade eventually, but that is real. Uh, you probably have to. I don't think you want to go jungle here. Like, oh. <laughs> he actually dodges the shield crash. Sox is taking a lot of damage. Now that Jingu if he wants to try to turn this around. Nine. Spear trying to get set up. There we go with... They're actually going to do so successfully with that rebuke set. He has around him, especially Pango, can enable him to do quite a lot of work. But obviously Tundra looking in a great position right now. They're going to maybe... Uh, are yeah, they going to dive they, him again? They yes, know they he's are. down there. They saw the courier. So again, relentless onto Saberlight. No TPs coming in this time. Jingu's up. And Saberlight will tick out. So fourth death already. Didn't take the stun. And they just ran him down. No Something problem. else we should mention. Okay, uh, he dies again uh, now. It's Saberlight. Real bad. Oh boy, TPs are coming in. Oh Looks like he is God. definitely dead. Soxa probably will be the trade. But again, Saberlight's not getting any quite even between the two mids. The net worth, not so much. It's like a. 800 net worth lead for nine as he brings himself to the top lane. Tomato, the refraction won't last too long. Stage ahead so that they can keep snowballing the game with these heroes. And Meander, Viper Strike is there. You can see Soxa is there to aid in his manner in the area. But you can see the level advantage, 33 just pushing in the wave. It's a casual right click on the Saber Light. Soxa 
All right, the pounce on down. Saberlight still with no black hole, and he is dead again. Bryle TP's in. All right, they might be able to get a big trade onto this juicy 33 Viper. No. Never mind. And the Wukong's commit coming from Soxa. Nine is in the area as well with the spear available. Looks like Moon Meander likely will fall. Not much needed. Double kill. Five and a TP coming in from 33. So they have yet to be able to kill so far. Bryle gets up another, another swash. The Soxa might be dropping here, but it's going to take heavy damage from 33 either way. Viper Strike is a 1v4, essentially. Time for Slack. Black hole from Saberlight. Finally, the kill on 33. That is quite a bit of gold going the way of Dubu, of course. As meanwhile, bot or top lane, Tomato, able to survive the onslaught. Of course, we mentioned that two Blink Daggers picked up from TSM. Saberlight, he sees the stack going on top of nine now. There's the black hole. Io comes back as well, so it ends up being a double black hole. TSM showing a lot of life now. Get two kills. He's still rocking ADCS minute 16. It's not like, yep. it's absolutely nothing. Dubu. Dubu, gonna tank the gank. Call down. And the spear. Oh, Skeeter can't find... All right, there we go. The avenue is there this for the is Rock gonna Barrage. Take quite a while. Yeah, the Rock oh, Barrage yeah. didn't last as long as he was hoping for. As the Rolling Thunder, meanwhile, in the mid lane, perpetually stunning the Viper. Dubu still alive throughout all of this. He's not going to die. And it looks like the Viper will fall. So TSM, not only Dubu living, some way, somehow, and a Mars Arena as well from Nine. We're trying to play that didn't exist. Dubu's and they know that's taking. <laughs> Hey, I'm still here, guys. Uh, the TP out from Snaking. Oh. Looks. Oh, that's a good. long TP. It was. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my God. This is one of the absolute biggest assets of Enchantress is how hard you are to kill for. Ooh, they break the trees with the the midnight pulse. And can they do more from this though? Moon Meander. Getting right click down, Skeeter extremely low. You can see the damage coming out even from the Enchantress as Bryle inside with the Swashbuckle. Shield Crash, they take out Gyro in turn. Io next on the list as TSM starting to take control. Or Tundra, BKB on the way for Monkey King, BKB on the way for Viper, BKB on the way for Mars, and Gyro has it. So aiming for four of those. Oh, miss is another Midnight Pulse into the Black Hole, but it's only on to, okay, that's three because of the relocate. Do they have enough damage to actually finish somebody off though? Bryle taking the brunt of the damage. Looks like Snaking is the first to fall, but it's a one for one. Doom applied to Skeeter. He's attempting to run away, and you can see the slows just stacking up as Moon Meander, and a cross pace, a double shot from Tomato into a double kill for him. They Find Sox on the backside as well. So that is a very big fight for TSM. An intelligent way of attacking the fight where you either kill them before they get BKBs off or you kind of need to weave in and out and delay TSM, it. TSM, Tomato jumps in, almost blows up Snaking in one shot. There's the Mars Arena. They're focusing on Snaking. Relocate will not be in time. He buys back immediately though as Skeeter TPs at back to base with the BKB. And you can see the Doom applied to 33 ends up resulting in a nice kill for TSM. If they can get Snaking, this is a dieback. Triple kill for Bryle. No I have an advantage they've already gotten themselves. Moon Meander, did he see that? He did not. Yep, Soxa wants to fight Moon Meander 1v1. He gets off the Wukong's command, but the whip Moon Meander able to get out. He's going to turn around with that Infernal Blade. You can see Saberlight on the backside. He gets off. Okay, the black hole again. This time on the two. Saberlight is everywhere. And again, TSM coming out on top in this fight. 33 gets off his BKB. Getting chased now. They're just trying to cancel that Blink Dagger. And they'll do so successfully, so TSM extend Keeping Mind's eye on his traps. Oh, that's the end of that smoke. Indeed. Rolling Thunder, Bryle, oh, Skeeter gets initiated on. There's the Midnight Pulse with the Spirit Vessel. He's just dead! 50 seconds, no Gyro, does have buyback though. And TSM just all over the place. Soxa looking to get up the Wukong's command. He's going to be spotted. Pops the BKB. They drop the tree. They drop him as a result. Bryle now in the depth here with that BKB activated. 33 doomed. Okay, he is saved for now. Nine gets bashed through the BKB. No Mars. 33 is going to be happy with this exchange for now, but Dubu coming to play. And Tomato going to focus on the building's potential with the Midnight Pulse. Malefice as well. And the Swashbuckle. They can kill him. And the TP's onto the outpost. Saberlight, okay. Moon Meander's gonna find Skeeter to start things out. Snaking has his ultimate available, but Saberlight with the black hole and the death onto two. Beautifully done from TSM as they are looking to go to the grand finals. The Doom applied.
two nine. Very easy kill for TSM as Soxa will try to. They might just get megas. Like absolutely. Fifteen seconds is quite a long time for these heroes. Soxa on thirty three, ready to pounce. But the bash is there, and the instant death onto 33. No save from Snake King. Buys back into the game, though. But again, this is going to be Mega Creeps as Brile creating a lot of space with the Rolling Thunder. Gets Viper struck, though. But that is Mega Creeps, and TSM likely to reset. Nine jumps in with the spear. The pounce from Soxa, but he instantly gets stomped. Five members of Tundra in this very small area that's going to be the Aegis to start out as Brile looking to finish off Mars and that will be a dieback for him. Soxa on the trees, Tomato finishes him off as well as Skeeter with the BKB but the physical damage is too much. GG's called, PSM is going to the grand finals of the Stockholm Major. Great recovery from them after game number one and also after you know